Hey everyone, this is Bobby with TabletCrunch.com. Welcome. Wanted to take a quick moment and give you an iOS 6 uh, Wi-Fi connectivity issue update. Um, anyone who's been following TabletCrunch.com knows I've been writing quite a bit about the problems people have been having um, ever since really tomorrow. It'll be two weeks since iOS 6 has come out, and I've been writing about quite a few of different quite a few different issues that people have been experiencing with their iPhone and their iPad. One issue that is really elevated to the top, um, aside from the, the Apple Maps issue, and we don't really need to get into that, um, but from a user standpoint, it's been Wi-Fi connectivity. So you take your iPhone, your iPad, um, update it to the latest iOS 6, and then all of a sudden you have no Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, I've written three, I've really gone over three fixes on tabletcrunch.com. You can read about them, um, just check them out on the blog. Of the three, one has really, up to this point, um, worked more successfully than the others, and that has been clearing the, um, clearing the cache and the history settings of your Safari browser app. Now, it hasn't worked 100% of the time. Um, of the three, some of them will work for some people, not all of them work for everyone, however, unfortunately. Um, but today, um, I've been talking to a few people, a few of the readers, um, even talked to a person on the phone who's up in Massachusetts, one of the readers here. And this solution seems to really be working um, across the board. And ironically, it has nothing to do with your iPhone or your iPad. It actually has to do with your wireless router. And I know that there's a few people who have mentioned that before. Um, there's a couple YouTube videos. Um, but I've been talking with users about it and walking them through. There's a lot of different types of wireless routers out there. So I can't really go over, you know, the specifics of each type of manufacturing. You know, there's D-Link, there's Linksys, um, so on and so forth. The basics of the fix is, however... The, when you upgrade your iPhone or your iPad on whatever wireless network that you're on, that seems to be the network that people have the most problems with. And I asked a couple users to um, you know, leave their house, leave their apartment, wherever it was that they upgraded their, their iPhone or their iPad, you know, go to like a Starbucks, go to somewhere where there's another free Wi-Fi network available and see if you can't get on. Well, ironically, they would go there and boom, they would instantly connect to that network. So then they would come back <clears throat> and I would kind of help them go through the process of resetting their network or resetting their wireless router. And as soon as they would reset the wireless router, that just seemed to clear out DNS, cleared out IP addresses, everything was fresh, and then boom, their, their iPhone and their iPad would connect to, um, to Wi-Fi. And now I'm reading other people um, that are going through the same problem. They'll reset the, the wireless router um, and their iPhone and their iPad will connect to Wi-Fi. So really two things with the wireless router that you can do. Number one is just do a complete reset and no matter what type of manufacturing um, router or wireless router that you have, in most cases on the underneath side or in the back there's a little uh, button that you can push usually with like an ink pen and that will reset, totally reset the wireless router. Now if it's secured and then you reset it, it's going to come back online and it's going to be unsecured. So if you need to have a secure uh, Wi-Fi network in your house or your apartment, you're going to have to go back in and um, set up the security. Number two is simply going in and resetting that security setting for the wireless router. So you go in um, to the administrative dashboard or the settings of your, of your router, turn off your security or disable it, um, save all your settings so that now you have a working wireless uh, network that's unsecured and then go back in and reset your security settings and there's two people I've talked to already today that just by simply resetting the security settings was enough for their device to connect to Wi-Fi so go ahead and try that and of course uh, this will be on tablet crunch but of course it's also on YouTube let me know in the comments if this worked for you. All right, thanks.